This is the Daily Weather Briefing for Sunday, June 29, 2014, brought to you by the National Weather Service Forecast Office located in Corpus Christi. I'm meteorologist Rob Hart. Today's briefing will focus on our hot and dry conditions expected today, and actually for much of this week. We'll also take a look at the beach forecast for today, and finally we'll take a look at the tropics, which are beginning to become a little more active. First up, though, we'll look at the surface chart from this morning. An area of high pressure centered across the northeastern Gulf of Mexico continues to influence our area weather, resulting in hot conditions, especially for today. Afternoon highs will be in the 90s nearly area-wide, with around 100 degrees expected across the western brush country and along the Rio Grande. Mostly cloudy skies this morning will become mostly sunny by the midday and afternoon hours. It will be breezy but also humid, and the combination of the heat and humidity will result in maximum heat indices today, peaking between 105 and 110 degrees. And again, the heat index is what it feels like out there. So it will feel like 104 degrees later this afternoon in Corpus Christi, 108 in Alice, and 106 in Laredo. Remember to drink plenty of non-alcoholic and non-caffeinated beverages to remain hydrated throughout the day and to seek shade when possible. If you'd like to cool down, you can head in to the beach, into the water, where water temperatures are around 80 degrees, though a moderate risk of rip currents will exist today along gulf-facing beaches as uh, some long-period swell continues across the region. It will become mostly sunny today with highs near 90 degrees, and it will remain breezy between 15 to 20 miles per hour from the southeast. Satellite imagery this morning, located across the southeastern United States, showed an area of disturbed weather east of Jacksonville, Florida. And this area of disturbed weather is being monitored by the National Hurricane Center in Miami, where they're indicating there is a 40% chance of an organized system uh, developing over the next 48 hours, and that chance becomes 70% over the next five days. However, regardless of whether the system develops or not, it will have no impact on South Texas, and that is the only tropical threat across the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico at this time. Don't forget, for the very latest weather information, check out our webpage at weather.gov slash Corpus Christi. And for the latest tropical information, you can check out hurricanes.gov.